What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. We have this fun question that says find the values of x given that x plus 1 all raised to the power of 6 is equal to x minus 1 all raised to the power of 6. Well our first step will be for us to move what we have on the right hand side to the left hand side so that we have x plus 1 all raised to the power 6 as this crosses to the left, it becomes minus x minus 1 all raised to the power of 6. And this is now equal to 0. Now we can introduce substitution by saying that let this, which is x plus 1, be equal to a. And let this, which is x minus 1, be equal to b. Now let's rewrite what we have here. So this becomes a to the power of 6 minus this becomes b to the power of 6 equal to 0. Very good. Now we can simplify this further. This becomes a to the power of 6 is the same as 3 times 2 minus b. We do this the same way. 6 is same as 3 times 2. And this is equal to 0. Very good. Now this can be written as a to power 3 all raised to the power of 2. Because from indices, this power multiplies this power to give back 6. So it is still the same thing. Minus, we do this the same way. So b to the power of 3 all raised to the power of 2. And this is equal to 0. Very good. Now we have an expression in difference of two squares. An expression in difference of two squares, let's say we have p squared minus q squared. This is an expression in difference of two squares. This can be expressed as p minus q times p plus q. Now let's express this like this. So in this case, if we have to compare, that means our p is a cube and our q is b cube. Comparison. Now, this expression in difference of two squares now becomes a cube minus b cube times a cube plus b cube. And this is equal to zero. So we have two cases here. We have the first case, we have a cube minus b cube to be equal to zero. Or for the second case, we have a cube plus b cube equal to zero. So we're going to be solving this case by case. So we're going to start with this first case and then we move to the second case. So notice that from this first case, this is an expression in difference of two cubes. So this is our case one. Our case one is an expression in difference of two cubes, which can be written as a minus b times a squared plus ab plus b squared. Very good. And this is equal to zero. Now recall that a, let's recall, because we're going to be putting that back. So recall that a is equal to x plus one and b is equal to x minus 1. So let's bring them back. So a is x plus 1 minus b, so minus b, b is x minus 1. Very good. So this is inside of a bracket, times, so times, a squared, a is x plus 1 squared plus a times b, so that will be x plus 1 times x minus 1, that is our x a times b, so plus b squared, which is x minus 1, all squared. Very good. And this is equal to 0. Now simplifying further, what we have inside of this parenthesis would then be x plus 1 minus x, and then negative times negative is positive, 1. Very good. Times, now let's expand what we have here. So expanding this, we have x squared plus 2x plus 1. Very good. And now plus. Now look at what we have here. This is an expression in difference of two squares. So expanding this will result to x squared minus 1. 
That is it. Plus, now expanding this expression, we have x squared minus 2x plus 1. And this is equal to 0. Now notice something that x minus x is gone. So we have 1 plus 1, which is 2 times. Now x squared plus x squared plus x squared is 3x squared. Now we have 2x here. So 2x minus 2x is gone. And 1 minus 1 is also gone. So we have plus 1 remaining. So plus 1. And this is equal to 0. So we can divide both sides by 2. So divide this by 2 and divide this by 2. So 2 divided by 2 is gone. So we are left with 3x squared plus 1 to be equal to 0 divided by 2 is 0. Well, I can move 1 to the right hand side so that we have 3x squared on the left equal to, as 1 crosses, it becomes negative 1. Now let's divide both sides by 3. So divide here by 3, divide here by 3. So 3 cancels out 3, leaving behind x squared to be equal to negative 1 all over 3. Now to get rid of this square, we take the square root of both sides. So I'll take the square root of x squared equal to plus or minus. I'll take the square root of negative 1 all over 3. Now notice that this square root cancels out the square leaving behind x to be equal to plus or minus. Now, let's simplify this. This is the same as the square root of 1 over 3 times negative 1. So this now becomes x equal to plus or minus. Now, we're going to write this one separately. So the square root of 1 all over 3 times the square root of negative 1. Now, this becomes x equal to plus or minus the square root of 1 is 1 all over the square root of 3. 3 is not a perfect square, so we're going to leave it inside of the square root. So all over the square root of 3 times the square root of negative 1 is i. So we can decide to rationalize. So x will be plus or minus. When we rationalize, we're going to have the square root of 3 all over 3 i. So there are two values of x from here, of which the first one is the positive square root 3 over 3i, or the second one is equal to negative square root 3 all over 3i. Very good. Now let's move on to our second case. So our second case, which is case 2, is where we have a cube plus b cube equal to 0. Now, this is a sum of two cubes which has an identity of a plus b times a squared minus ab plus b squared. And this is equal to zero. Now, let's recall again that our a is equal to x plus 1 and our b is equal to x minus 1. Now, let's plug this in here. This is a, which is x plus 1 plus b, so plus b is x minus 1. Now close brackets. Now open brackets. This is a squared, which will be x plus 1 all squared, minus a times b. a is, I'm going to be opening a bracket for this, a is x plus 1 times b is x minus 1. Very good. And then plus b squared is x minus 1 all squared. Now close brackets equal to 0. Now simplifying further, x plus x is 2x. Now 1 minus 1 is gone. Times, now for what we have here, I'm going to be opening a good bracket here. So a square bracket. We can expand this to be x squared plus 2x plus 1. And then minus now, this is an expression in difference of two squares. So I'm going to be putting it in parentheses because of this negative here. So expression in difference of two squares is x squared minus 1. Very good. And then plus, on expanding this, we have x squared minus 2x plus 1. And then close brackets, 
equal to 0. So simplifying further, we have 2x times x squared plus 2x plus 1. Now using this negative to open up this bracket, we have negative x squared. Now negative times negative is positive, 1, and then plus x squared minus 2x plus 1 equal to 0. Very good. Now we can also simplify further. This is 2x times, now watch, x squared minus x squared is gone. Now we are left with just this x squared, so x squared. And then 2x minus 2x is gone. Now we are left with 1 plus 1 plus 1, which is 3. And this is equal to 0. So there are two cases from here. We have 2x to be equal to 0, or we have x squared plus 3 to be equal to 0. For this first case, we can decide to divide both sides by 2. Now 2 cancels out. x is equal to 0 divided by 2 is 0. So we have one real solution from here, x equal to 0. Now for this other case, we just have to move 3 to the right hand side. And when we do that, we have x squared to be equal to negative 3. Now let's get rid of this square by taking the square root of both sides. So I'll take the square root of x squared plus or minus, I'll take the square root of negative 3. Now see that this square root cancels out the square, leaving behind x to be equal to plus or minus the square root of this expression is same as 3 times negative 1. Now given an answer of x equal to plus or minus the square root of 3 times the square root of negative 1. Good. So this results to x equal to plus or minus the square root of 3. Square root of negative 1 is i. So there are two values of x from here. Remember from our first case, we got two values of x. So this is a third value. Now this is going to be the fourth value, which is the square root of 3i. And then the fifth value will be negative square root of 3i. Very good. Well, feel free to share your ideas in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video and have learned something from this video, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. Turn on the notification bell so you don't miss my upcoming videos. And like I always say, until next time, take care.